Hey guys, what's going on here? Something was trying to get in this bucket last night. See all these little <laughs> little footy tracks here. And uh, the bait has been touched. So, but it didn't clean it out. So this is cock, lock, and ready to rock. You can see my little loop is down here in the bottom on that nail. All these critters have got to do is grab that little basket in there and pull it. When they do, this thing fires. So, so something fired last night. We got more bee work to do today, but let's uh, let's take care of this guy here. Whoops! Something happened here. Something happened here, guys. Yep, I found that basket right here, right there. And what do we got here? Oh, we got us, we got us a big old OP, big old OP possum. Years ago, years ago, man, I used to sell the heck out of these things. And I had a fellow that was buying from, from from me. I don't think there was. I think he was the last of the banditos in in Florida that had this license. And what he was doing was selling these things to Cancer Research, the possums. And um, anyway, I think the fella got on drugs, and uh, I actually called the state to try. I knew things were going downhill for this kid. And anyway. I called to find out what uh, what the deal was to get into the business of of trapping of uh, selling possums to cancer research, and and I talked to some real smart ass with the state, and he said we're gonna we, he said we're 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 not doing that selling getting those permits anymore special permits to sell possums. Now you can catch and sell them all day long for food, if anybody wants to buy them. But the old timers, they don't. They've all died out, and they don't eat possum much anymore. There's a few around that do, but not many. Anyway, this size here, they had to be. This guy's probably. I don't know. He's probably eight to ten pounds. This is a big one. But they had to be five pounds plus for me to sell. So the little bitty ones, I just let go. I just let them back out anyway yeah so he said we're, we're we're shutting that deal down we're, we're not going to let you guys do that anymore this is this is just bad you know bad i said well, why why just just because it's just bad you know had no no reasons behind it whatsoever uh the last two animals on this planet are going to be a possum and a cockroach you know those are the last two critters going to be on this planet so you know it's nothing like you're going to run out of them i used to save up i was running my meat line plus a nuisance nuisance line where i'd take critters away from people's houses that were you know they'd call me they'd hire me to get them out of there anyway i, I quit doing it. it was just got too hectic because with my regular job but anyway yeah, I would save up about 20 of these. I had cages. Save up about 20 of these, and then I'd run to my guy over there, cancer research guy, and he would he would uh, sell them. Uh, he had a little one-shot cage. He put them in four compartments. He'd get them on an airplane out of TIA and fly them out of here and uh, to their destination. And I don't know where that research center was. He never gave up that information. So anyway, anyway, that all went to the wayside when this kid got on drugs, and then the state just stopped it totally. So, yeah, if anybody knows about selling these things to a cancer research outfit, let me know. I wouldn't mind doing that. So anyway, yeah, I'm going to release him. These, they're, they're beneficial. They eat a lot of slugs. They get in your garden and stuff. Yeah, so anyway... Okay, guys, let's get this guy released and send him free. Set Willie free. And what I got here 
is a nice little device. Actually, man, I'm gonna have to replace this cable. This cable's getting bad here. Wow. Holy smokes. Yeah. Anyway, what, what I have here is a piece of one inch conduit. And I got a cable here. I'm gonna have to, like I say, replace it. It's, it's uh, I'm thinking, I was thinking eighth cable, but I don't think this is. This is bigger. Anyway, whatever cable fits. I built this so long ago. What this is, is a uh, clothesline adjuster. You can get this at hardware stores. And it comes out, it's spring-loaded here, you see. And it's got a set of claws, jaws on it in here. And it can go inside of a one-inch conduit. So, uh, yeah. So, I don't know. This thing's about four feet long. Yeah, so you can stand back from your critter. Um, coons, coons are very vicious. You want to get distant. These guys are kind of laid back. These old, these old opies. So, what do I got here? A little old uh, plastic lawnmower pull cord thingy. Yeah, I'm going to have to replace this. This is not good at all here. A coon, if I pull back on that, I'd probably snap it. But, uh, yeah, and I just JB welded it in with some of that liquid JB weld into here. So, yeah, so what we're going to do is slip this over him. Now, this can be a little bit of a challenge. A little bit of a challenge when you have a, a, a big old coon on this thing they they twist up the cable so much guys that you might have just just figure on uh just figure on uh this guy's he's pretty hefty guys this guy's pretty hefty all right i want to get a good control of him here and you reach down here you reach down here and you find that cable and there's the lock right there we're going to reuse that we're going to reuse that lock that's all it is like i showed you before that's a quarter inch, that's a quarter inch galvanized. I, I, I like the galvanized because they're thicker, see? They're thicker here. So you get a better lock action. Um, when you test your snares, you put them together, make sure it zips down, done back off it. If it does, the holes have gotten worked so much by the critter that these open up. You don't get that binder, binding action. But they're so cheap. I've got hundreds of these. I've saved from other projects. Boat projects, whatever. I just save them, make snares out of them. Yeah, so here we are. So to release him, to release this big booger, all you're gonna do is pull up on this. You pull up on this, and that releases that cable. And you just slip it off of him. And he doesn't know he's even... He doesn't even know he's freed yet. He's playing possum. Look at the teeth on that thing, guys. Look at the teeth on that guy. You don't want to get bit. You don't... You don't want to get bit with that guy. He's not hurt at all. He's not hurt at all. He's going to run off here in a minute. Oh, he's thinking about getting up. He says, am I free? Has Steve-O freed me? Oh, my goodness. He said, let me... <laughs> let me... Let me go, he said. Let me go. Yeah. What do you think of my trailer, guys? Tractor Supply. Yeah, Tractor Supply trailer. Good price. They had the ones with the metal flooring, and I, I like the one with a... I like the one with the wood flooring. There's two by sixes in there. 
Or is that a two by eight? I think that's a two by eight in there. So anyway, yeah. Oh, I forgot to tell you guys. I had a guy question me, and I made a. I'm. I did a. I did a stupid one. I told you guys that I. I got these rods at Lowe's. No, I didn't. That was a screw up on my part, and uh, I should have put it in the show notes where I got them. These rods came from Tractor Supply, and I had—I forgot. It's been so long since I did. I bought about 20 of those rods because you're using two of them to make one trap. So it's been a long time. But anyway, Tractor Supply has these. They're like a three-eighths. I think this is a three-eighths solid fiberglass rod. Uh, the anchor one here, the cable, is attached to this block. Uh, I can reuse that. And the snare itself, the snare itself, I'll have to remake it. Another thing on these traps, don't ever come up on this side of it to do your inspections or whatever. Because if this thing trips, it's going to smack you slap in the face. Trust me, how do I know this? All right, guys, I got to quit fooling around with critters and stuff. Get back on the beehives. Uh, I want all these bricks standing up. We got more bricks to stand up to treat here. Then I got to get to another bee yard and get those over there, too. So I'm going to leave you for now and get back to my bee work. And I'll see you on the next video, hopefully very soon. Have a great day. Bye-bye.